Hey guys, Angela here, and today we're gonna be replicating the notorious Costco chicken bake. If you don't know what Costco is, Costco is a wholesale bulk warehouse. You have to have a membership to enter one of these warehouses. And with Costco, they're known for their food court, which hasn't really changed. The classics still remain, the pizza, the hot dog, the chicken bake. Three glorious items still stay within under $3 somehow. And for all y'all who don't have a Costco membership, but crave the Costco food court food, I am here for you. I am here to show you how easy it is to make a Costco chicken bake. So let's get it, let's go. Let's take a whole chicken and let's bake it, AKA the chicken bake. The chicken bake is consistent of a very few items. The dough portion is pizza dough, sauce, Caesar salad dressing, contents, parmesan cheese, chicken, and bacon. All right, so I literally have a bag of rotisserie chicken. I find this the easiest way. If you need chicken for a baking recipe, take the meat and shred it up. As I was shredding this chicken, look who's outside. Do you want chicken? Do you want some chicken? <laughs> She's outside because I'm cooking. Is this what you want? Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-uh, sit. No jumping. Ah, uh, sit. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. Uh-uh, sit. Good girl. Here's chicken. Oh, yummy. All right, so I have some pre-bought pizza dough. If you've been a long-time follower, you know that pre-store-bought uh, pizza dough is my jam. Got a little flower action happening because it's sold in the refrigerated aisle, you kind of want to wait till it comes up to temperature. All right, so we're gonna cut these in some even portions. All right, so we got our pizza dough all flattened. Now we actually have some Caesar salad dressing that we're actually gonna smear on top of this pizza. And who knows, I honestly had no idea that the base of this entire, what do you call it? A sandwich, bread, snack, calzone, I don't know, was Caesar salad dressing. We're gonna put some of our chicken, bacon that we already pre-cooked earlier this morning. Yeah, this is definitely not good for you, as in health-wise. We're just gonna dollop some more of the Caesar salad dressing. I have some Parmigiano Reggiano that we're gonna sprinkle in there we're just going to that just like a calzone or a burrito look at that and we're just gonna tuck in the sides like a little baby so basically this is a french bread or a bread tray and what's ideal about these are is that these have like these little holes in them so that heat penetrates the entire bread. If you don't have this, you could use a pizza stone, you could use a regular tray, um, whatever you have, honestly. So now, on our exterior, you guessed it, more Caesar salad dressing. I know, it's super bizarre to me, but that's what we're doing. You kinda wanna make sure everything is brushed and to top it off, we have some shredded Parmesan cheese. And you just want to grace it with its presence. And now we bake! Wow. That's pretty good, guys, for a homemade chicken bake. 
it smells like a chicken bake and honestly have you ever had like a fresh chicken bake before usually they're sitting under like that hot heater so this is this is legit let's give it a taste mm -hmm. and cheesy and creamy and salty really good and you can really taste the difference between a fresh homemade chicken bake versus the one in Costco because you're using like good chicken you're using good bacon you're using good parmesan cheese and the fact that it was this easy to make w for wow maybe my only critique is that i wish i put more caesar salad dressing in here but honestly what's stopping you from taking a bottle of it and just squirting it in now right don't forget to subscribe and like to this video if you love buying bulk items and eating at a food court like me or well, just me. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.